guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. In today's video guys, we're going to uh, demonstrate what could be causing your brake paddle to be hard. Okay, you try to press your brake paddle but it's hard. As a result guys, you have limited stopping power. The brakes will not be functioning right. It could be, it could be like four or five things causing that guys. Modern cars nowadays, okay. Uh, they use the vacuum created by the intake okay, to activate the brake paddle membranes but also there is a brake pump and let me demonstrate on this Dodge here that we have guys okay even if it's a, doesn't matter if it's a Dodge, BMW, Volkswagen most of them have a brake vacuum pump nowadays now let's start from the beginning okay you can see that's your brake booster there it's uh, the brake pump, it's connected to the booster and on the other side of the booster is where your brake pedal is. That booster, it has membranes inside. When vacuum activates the membranes, okay, that uh, brake pedal, it's really nice to the touch, soft and you'll be able to press it hard and have good braking power. Now, if there is no vacuum, that booster will not work and you will have hard brake pedal. What could be causing that, guys? Okay, one thing. Check the connectors, check the hoses there, okay, if, those, if these hoses are leaking, sometimes you have an elbow or a hose leaking, and as a result, guys, okay, you're going to lose vacuum. Also, you will have a one directional valves, one or two, depending how complicated the system is. Okay, this is, this is a uh, vacuum valve. So that's one directional valve, it lets the vacuum go only one way and not the other way, okay, it just goes like that and it cannot come back. So the vacuum stays okay in the booster and you can see the hose from the vacuum booster there, brake booster, goes to the intake, the intake creates some vacuum but you also have a, okay, a, a brake pump right here and a brake pump sometimes could be like on Volkswagens I believe it was uh, an Audi driven on the camshaft. This one is electrical pump, it just has two wires, one connector. So that pump turns on and creates vacuum. If the pump is bad, guys, okay, you experience hard brake paddle. And uh, that, could be, that could be a bad thing. Always inspect everything. Now, if the pump doesn't work, okay, you suspected that it's a pump, we have a video on the channel that explains how to test it. But if the pump tests good and everything's fine, you need to start digging into the electrical system. Usually, in the fuse box, you're going to have, okay, you're going to have a, relay that says vacuum pump like this one and a fuse that says vacuum pump in our case this is the relay this is the fuse so always check your fuses check the relays check the vacuum pump but number one reason okay for hard brake paddle okay is leaking okay leaking holes somewhere the booster could be bad as well it could happen but it's not very common thing to to worry about so if you check everything, everything's fine and yeah, the hoses are good, then it could be probably a booster. But hopefully guys, the video will help you solve your problem. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.